place now. Um, so I am going to call to order uh, the September 8th <coughs> Zoom virtual meeting of the Michigan City Public Board and Works and Safety. Um, for the record, we will say that the uh, all members are present and we have a quorum. Uh, first item on the agenda is approval of minutes from our regular meeting of August 17, 2020. Do I have a motion? Yes, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for the August 17th meeting. I will support that motion. Okay, thank you. A motion and a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, next, we have access agreement. L. Charles Luckman, general counsel for uh, NIPTI, is requesting approval of an agreement between the Northern Indiana Commuter Transportation District and the City of Michigan City to perform phase two environmental site assessment on city property located on Chicago Street. Um, WSP USA Inc. will coordinate the date of the drilling. This shall continue through December 2020 from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, I know that it looks like their packet is or their information is complete and in order. Amber, is there any legal issues with this we need to be concerned about? No, I don't think there. Um, I did speak with uh, Skylar York, who is our planning director, and he has uh, no concern with this either. He believes it's part of the double track project. Okay, thank you. And they're not required ins uh, insurance because it's their property that they're actually drilling on. Is that correct? No, there's technically self insured. That's why they don't oh. have the certificate of insurance. Okay, all right, thank you. Um, do any other board members have any questions? None here. None. Okay, hearing none, do we have a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the uh, agreement with Nick T for the environmental site assessment. I'll second that motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Uh, do we, um, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Uh, next, and we'll take these one at a time, but we have three issues. Policy changes from Andrea Smith, personnel director, is requesting acceptance <laughs> of changes in the policy and procedure manual for employee sick leave. Uh, right now, and it uh, says 12 days per year at the beginning of a benefit year. I think right now we are we accumulate a day a month and she wants to uh, change that so that employees get to 12 days all up front at the beginning of the year. Um, has Andrea come on to the meeting at all or Caleb, is there anyone that uh, has come on through? The I think she can only appear by chat. So she is, Unless you want me to go grab her, um, I can go to an office and grab her if you need her. No. Do you, um, are you aware of these changes, Amber? Have you gone over them or? Yes, I have. Um, I have no concern with any of the, the proposed okay. changes that she's bringing forward. Okay. Uh, any comments or questions from the board? Uh, I went through the, uh, I reviewed, Mr. President, I reviewed it with uh, Ms. Smith and uh, it is an improvement. In our accounting system, it simplifies it, and the overall benefit is uh, is definitely positive. Okay, thank you. Any other comments or questions? No. Okay, hearing none, is there a motion? I make a motion to approve the policy changes to change the sick leave to 12 days per year. <coughs> okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? A uh, second. I will add that it, that it's not changing the quantity of sick days. It's just uh, at as of day one, January first, it's putting them in the record rather than uh, one day per month. Okay, so they're being front loaded instead of accumulating over the course of the year. Yes, sir, Mr. Very good. Yes. And I see that Andrea has uh, 
commented through chat that uh, this is this is correct. So we have a motion. We have a second. Is there any other discussion on this issue? Hearing none. Um, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. The next issue, policy change. Andrea <coughs> Smith, personnel director, is requesting acceptance of changes in the policy and procedure manual for additional holidays, adding primary and general election days. Are there any comments or questions regarding this? Uh, Mr. President, what this does is it adds, uh, it's my understanding, uh, one extra payday this year. It ha it, this occurs about once every seven or eight years. So unfortunately, this is the year that we have to address it. Mayor, you're one, uh, you're one agenda item ahead of yourself. Um, this is just adding the primary and general election days into the manual. Um, <laughs> hey, thank you, Amber. I'll clam up. All right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really Monday morning, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay. So all we're doing is we're adding two additional holidays to every year that there is an election, correct? Correct. Okay. No election days next year, Andrea says, so so we won't have those two extra holidays next year. Um, so um, any other comments or questions from the board? None. Hearing none, is there a motion? I make a motion to approve the policy changes to the procedural uh, manual for additional holidays, including uh, the uh, holiday for the primary election and for general election days. I'll second that. Okay, there is a motion and a second. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, motion carries. And finally, from Andrea Smith, uh, is requesting acceptance of changes in the policy and procedure manual regarding the number of biweekly pay periods in a calendar year. Uh, Mayor, you're up now. No, that's enough. I, <laughs> I said it once. That's good enough. Thank you, okay. Mr. President. Uh, Mayor, explain this very well already. Thank you. That's a uh, chat from Andrea. So do we have any questions or comments regarding this policy change? Okay, hearing none, do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Aye, opposed, same sign. Next on the agenda is we have contract approval clearance, clearance Pulse Economic Development Corporation of Michigan City is requesting approval for the contract for economic development services commencing January 1st, 2021 and shall not extend beyond December 31st, 2021 in the sum of $150,000. Amber, have you had a chance to review this agreement? I have. It's the standard agreement that the board enters into every year with the Economic Development Corporation. Uh, there is no change in dollar figure, no change in the extent of services. Um, basically, it's just a renewal for another year. Okay, thank you. Uh, any comments or questions from the board? I have no comment or question. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay. Okay, uh, do we have a motion then? Motion to approve a cut renewal of the contract for Mr. Holtz for the calendar year 2021 in the sum of $150,000. I'll second that motion. Okay, we have a, a motion and a second. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All right. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, the next three items, 
are from uh, David Cooney, Chief of Operations with the Michigan City Police Department. Um, and just I'll, I'll preface this and say on each one of these, I will be abstaining from the vote because this is regarding destruction of property uh, and that involves IT, which everyone that is aware that I am employed by. So the first one um, is the old Axon 2 cameras, uh, charging base and power supplies. Uh, they just recently received new updated cameras. Uh, all the old ones have been turned in. We are keeping four as backup just in case. Um, but um, the, you should all have the list in front of you. Um, but these will be destroyed. Um, there's no future use for any of them on the list. Um, the cameras, the software, everything is outdated. So um, is there any questions from the board, comments or questions? I have uh, Mr. President, I, I, Mr. President, I have uh, a, a comment, or maybe a question from you. Uh, okay. Being our IT expert within the police department, um, these acts on cameras, I, I fully understand the, the need for the uh, police department patrol persons on the street, but the, I, I, I would like this tabled uh, one meeting because I, because I wonder if these outdated X, Axon cameras, I, I can envision a need occasionally for another Michigan City employee to possibly need to use an Axon camera if they're going to be involved in a situation where they need video documentation of. Uh, and I, I would just like to uh, have a little feedback on the, uh, not the, so much the availability, but the acceptable acceptability of, of these cameras being used in that application. Uh, I, I've seen already uh, situations where other city employees, code compliance, uh, possibly a park department employee, possibly myself being in a situation where where they might be alone and they could use the video uh, documentation of that incident. Okay, I I fully understand. I know that there are some there is some talk going on about perhaps getting some new cameras. Um, but I can bring this up within our department. Um, like I said, we're holding four, four of the old cameras back anyway, just as backup. Um, I know there's licensing issues with each camera, um, but I'm, I'm, I have no problem with this particular one being tabled until uh, our next meeting so we can get some more information in that regard. As long as it doesn't preclude getting the new cameras for the patrol officers so that they need uh, their needs are are higher priority than the needs of the other administration person. Yes. Un understood. Yes. And all of the new Axon three cameras have been deployed to uh, the patrolmen and members of the police department. Good. Good. Thank you. OK. So um, is that a motion to table them? Yes, sir, it is. Okay, uh, we have a motion to table. Uh, do we have a second? I'll second that motion. Okay, <clears throat> all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, okay, and again, I'm a, yes, please. All right. Yes, please. And I am abstaining uh, as previously said. Okay, next we have from David Cooney, Chief of Operations, Michigan City Police Department, requesting transfer of ownership of 13 computers from the Michigan City Police Department to the IT department. Um, previously, a month or two ago, we had submitted a list of computers to be destroyed. Um, 
that were had been in place at the police department. These were older computers, out of date, uh, some working, barely working, some not working at all. Um, that was pulled back because just like we had uh, uh, twice now, uh, we're employees, city employees have been sent home to work. Um, we were running short of computers to provide to these individuals. So what we've done is we've gone through all of the, the full list of, of laptops uh, that were slated to be destroyed and we pieced and parted together so that there were more available laptops should this occur again where uh, employees need to work from home. And that's, that's saving the, the city money in a respect of not having to purchase new computer, uh, new laptops for that purpose. And in the process of doing this, we were able to remove 13 of the laptops from the destroy list and add them to this list to transfer ownership from the police department to IT so that uh, they are available if need be. That's the background on this particular request. So, Mr. President, was that initial list to be destroyed? Was that 43 or was that 13? Does the, does the um, the, I think the, the original list was 43. That was a couple of months ago. The 13 are now our working computers, and we're, they are, it's being requested to be transferred to IT. Okay, thank you. Do we have any other comments or questions? No. Okay, again, I will be abstaining from this vote, uh, but do we have a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the request to transfer 13 uh, computers to the IT department from the Michigan City Police Department. I will second that motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor, uh, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, motion carries, thank you. And for the final request from Chief of Operations, David Cooney, is requesting to, to destroy 30 computers from the Michigan City Police Department that no longer have any value. And this is, these are the computers that are left after we have made 13 others functional. We've pulled parts and pieces from these, hard drives, memory, et cetera. Is there any comments or questions regarding this request? I have none. I have none. None here. None here. Okay. Then again, I will be abstaining, but is there, are there any more comments? No more comments or questions. Do we have a motion? I'll make a motion, Mr. President, to approve the destruction of the 30 computers from the Michigan City Police Department. And I'll second that motion. Okay, thank you. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, now we have correspondence. Uh, the clerk's office received correspondence on August 14th, 2020 from City Engineer Jeff Wright regarding the Community Crossings Matching Grant. Notification of contractor award and request for funds. Uh, for the 2020 York Street reconstruction project, amount of the funds requested is $207,973.20. And this is for informational purposes only. Um, I believe those funds have already been dispersed because that project is underway. Um, also for and from the next tour for informational purpose only, Michigan City Fire Department is holding their annual t-shirt fundraiser for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The department will be wearing breast cancer awareness shirts from October 1st through the 31st of 2020. And finally, we have uh, the Michigan City Fire Department has submitted the standard operating procedures manual dated September 2020, so it can be filed in the clerk's office. Again, that is for informational purposes only. But Amber, I do have a question. Um, on the uh, 
SOP manual? Do we need, we don't need to vote on that, do we? I don't know what they've changed and what they haven't changed. So let me look into that, please. Um, nobody okay. has asked me about this. Um, okay. So let, let me look into that, please. Okay. Um, then Gail, can we add this to the pending list just to, uh, until Amber has a chance to review? And Mr. President, what's going on, the pending list is the uh, stand, the fire department standard operating procedures? That is correct, sir. Well, that's good. I have not seen that either. Uh, for the boards, uh, to refresh the board's memory, this was these operating procedures were submitted once before without uh, background information as to what changes were being made from the previous procedure. And, it, and without that background information, they were uh, rejected by this board and returned to the fire department for uh, reworking with the background information that we need to properly review these, uh, this document. That is correct, yes. Okay, do we have any other comments on that item? One question, we, I believe that Dawn did send that out to everyone saying that you could review them and asked if you wanted a copy of those last week. Of the well, but that's, yeah, that's an extensive document. Oh, I know, and, and I know you said that we were gonna let Amber look at it, so I can bring those down to Amber if she'd like. Okay. Can it, be email, can it be emailed or is oh it God, huge? Huge. There's two books. <laughs> it is it, like a four. It's a four-inch binder. Yes. Okay. We do have a stick. I'll look at the binder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you would run, if you would run one copy of it, I like a hard copy to look at, and I will distribute it. Uh, to uh, Ms. LePage Stallbrink and anyone else that would like to glance at the hard copy. But I would like to see a hard copy uh, redlined as was the requirement earlier. Okay, we do have that and we will do that for you. Great, thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, next we're on to the claims document and I know on our agenda it doesn't give the numbers because the claims came a little late. I believe we had each been emailed, but I've lost that email. Um, Gail, is there a chance that you can give me those numbers before we go through this? Um, yes, the municipal is $2,120,720.36. CDBG is $12,676.70. Health and Life, 489,264, 69. Hold, hold on, hold on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what was Health and Life? <laughs> health and Life was 489-264-69. Workman's Comp is $27,699.15. The total claims is $2,650,360.90. Thank you. Okay, now we can move forward. Um, so next we have the claims document. Um, we need a motion. Municipal, are pardon me? Are you doing both together or separately? No, we do them separate. We'll do them, okay, like we always do. I have the payroll here. Um, municipal claims were $2,120,000, $120,000, CBD, CDBG um, was $12,676.70. Health and Life, $489,264.69. Workers' Compensation, $27,699.15. For total claims of $2,650,000. $360.90. Did I get those numbers right? Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, those are the claims. Do we have a motion? 
Um, I I, I, yes. Sorry, Mr. Keating. Uh, I have a comment. I uh, I'm thumb, I was thumbing through the claims docket as we were talking about it, and I see several items that uh, I would like to uh, ask questions about of the controller's office. And uh, so, how, how does that work? Uh, uh, we need to we need to pay our bills. I believe in paying bills in thirty days. But uh, uh, I I just uh, I I'm, I'm curious about several entries. So how, how do we go about that? Is it has it ever been uh, has a claims docket ever been approved pending uh, question or pending audit? Uh, I guess I'd look for uh, Ms. LePage Stahlberg's comment on that. <clears throat> um, actually, we, it, we've never held it back. Um, so either it's approved or not approved. Um, so I would... Is Ms. Hoffmaster participating in this meeting at all right now? I don't believe so, no. Okay. Okay. Um, well, that being the case, I, I'm 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 gonna. Uh, we need to pay our bills. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, vote to approve vote to uh, approve this claims docket. And I and if if uh, my inquiry. Oh, well, I'm in the doghouse. Here she comes. Hang on. <laughs> uh, did you hear? I have. You said you had some questions. Yeah, I have, I have some questions about these items. Mm -hmm. What if one of them is deemed to be inaccurate or, or or incorrect that we should not we should not pay them after these this is approved to be paid? Mayor, you could specifically ask that that be pulled out of the approval for right now. Correct. You couldn't pull it out. And, and but that would have to be done at this moment during. Correct. The yeah, you could ask that that be tabled at this time and the rest of the claims be approved. Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm not going to do that because the claims that I looked at uh, that, that raised the question, none of them are, are that substantial. So I think it's something that I can ask my question. Uh, Ms. Hoffmaster can educate me and, and hopefully I'm wrong and we won't have to go through this again. Okay. I, I, I'm good to go. Thanks. Okay. Is that a motion then, Mayor? Uh, yes, Mr. President, motion to approve. Payment of the claims docket. Sorry. Okay. That's okay. Um, we have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second that motion. Uh -huh. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Um, to pay the claims docket. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you. And then we'll move on to the payroll docket for August 28, 2020. Um, the total payroll was $758,746.12. Do we have any comments or questions or a motion? I have none. I have none. I'll make a motion to pay claim to pay the payroll claims docket. Okay, I'll second. Um, the motion and a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you. We'll move on to unfinished business, which is our pending items list. Um, I know that we have uh, Ken Purs on here who had been uh, interested in purchasing property. I don't remember the name of the street off the top of my head. Um, Amber, we had referred this to you. I know that I believe all the uh, letters went to all the city departments. Um, could you uh, inform us as to where this might stand or? Sure. Um, I did inquire all the city departments. Um, they 
Um, some took longer than others to get back with me, but ultimately they all did, and no department has any objection to the sale. Um, when I looked at the most recent assessed value, um, according to LaPorte County Assessor's Office, <clears throat> this parcel right now is at 131 Edwards Street, is assessed at uh, $13,200. Um, because it is over six thousand um, dollars this board if if this board is interested in selling this parcel um, we'll have to get an appraisal um, once that appraisal is back then this board can set the offering price and make the necessary findings pursuant to indiana code 36-1-11-5d um, to uh, sell this this parcel but the first step this board needs to do is um, make a motion to um, order an appraisal. Thank you. Um, do board members have any questions regarding this? None, None here. No. Okay. Um, is, the, is there a motion to uh, order an appraisal for this property? Yes, I'll make the motion to uh, order an appraisal for the property at 131 Edward Street. Okay, we have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second that, Mr. Uh, President. Okay, very good. Um, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. And this will then uh, remain on our pending list, uh, pending the appraisal and, and moving it all forward. Um, next, we have Bolt for Hart. Um, this is the um, um, walk run that's going to go from Washington Park through Long Beach uh, to the Michigan State Line and back. Um, all of the conditions provided by Captain Lineski have been met. Um, the department has approved the overtime, the park board has approved, and as I believe Long Beach City Council has approved as well. Uh, what I don't know is, uh, Gail, do we have the insurance? Have they provided that yet? We are still working with them to get the correct one that we have that they have to sample. So I believe he's been sending us uh, stuff daily. So I believe we'll get okay. it. Okay. Um, well, but we're still, and when was this event supposed to take place? 27th of September. Okay. So... Um, so, um, it's up to the, it's whatever the board's pleasure is. Would you like to, uh, approve this event, um, pending receipt of the insurance? Yes, I would, Mr. President. Okay. Um, do you want to put that in the form of a motion? I will make a motion that the board approve this application pending receipt of the necessary insurance documents uh, no later than seven days before the scheduled event. Okay, we have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second that motion. Okay, um, so we have a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Opposed, same sign. That motion carries, uh, but uh, I think we'll still leave this on the pending list until uh, our next meeting, which will be prior to September 27th. We can remove it then, provided that the insurance has been provided. Um, so next we have Tom Doporowski, 2568 Ohio Street, is requesting to have more stone be applied to an area to fix the drainage problem. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe this has been done. Um, I've driven by, I've, I've seen it. Um, Mayor, do you have any more knowledge of this? No, sir, I do not. Um, I received a text from Mr. Dobrowski and he uh, took pictures of the street workers out there working. So I believe that Sean from the street department has taken care of this. Okay. Um, then, but uh, we haven't heard from Mr. Wright. 
uh, or from Sean Smith. Um, what is the uh, uh, board's pleasure? Would you like to remove this from the list as being completed, or would you like to leave it here until we have definitive a definitive statement that it has been done? Uh, Mr. President, I, I see no sense of urgency, so uh, why don't we remove it from the list? And if it, uh, in fact, has not been done, then Mr. Dobrowski can uh, reapply and we'll, we'll address it again. Okay, very good. Um, so is that a motion to remove it from the list? Yes, sir, it is. Okay, there's a motion to remove this item from the pending list. Is there a second? I'll second that motion. Okay, motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Okay. Um, this, this next item was the Board of Commissioners um, asking for designated parking places for their bridge tender. I believe this had been referred to the Port Authority, and I don't know whether they have dealt with this or not, but it was under their direct uh, discretion, um, as I recall. So I would entertain a motion to remove this item from the list. So moved. I'll second that. Um, do we, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Always saying sign. Motion carries. Um, we have Bonita Schaff, Michigan City Main Street, approval to place artwork. Um, Indiana Humanities and Office of Community Rural is, is announced. Okay, they were awarded their $40,000 grant um, to place their uh, sculpture uh, where we already gave them approval for in Westcott Park. Um, I believe that need approval of design of the sculpture from the Public Arts Committee. That's that's outside of our purview. So um, I would entertain a motion to remove this from the list. Wouldn't we have to know, Amber, where they're going to place it in Westcott since it's on city property? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think we, we should keep that on there and have some dialogue with the... Um, Public Art Committee, because my guess is they're going to be making a recommendation of where it should be placed. Right. They did. I, um, okay. I believe one of my girls spoke with them, and that's what she said. It's going to be a little while because they have to make the sculpture. Okay. And they're not then talking about removing our, our no. other sculpture. They're talking about adding it. Right. Yes. Correct. Okay. Then I will retract my previous statement. Um, if the mayor can, I can too. <laughs> um, so we'll move, we'll leave that on the list. Next, we have Cora Cambridge at 220 Gladys Street um, requesting NIPSCO to switch the pole around in front of 227. Um, I believe we have learned that um, the individuals, I think the individuals at uh, 231. Gladys pays for, that's a dust to dawn light that is over someone's yard. Um, and uh, I would suggest we leave this here because there was a suggestion uh, by Captain Lineski, I believe, that it might be appropriate to ask NIPSCO about placing another pole with another light um, to provide this lighting for Cora Cambridge. Um, I know that uh, Captain Lineski was going to be on the meeting. He said, I'm not sure if you, I don't see him here. Um, I do have an email that I believe you all received um, from Pat Kizikowski from NIPSCO stating that he believes that I think we have to ask for this NIPSCO to be placed there. Okay. He recommends that we do do that. Okay. All right. So, um, so the Board of Works then needs to uh, officially request of NIPSCO to put up a poll, Amber. to put a light up. Amber? 
I'm sorry, I was trying to see if, if Captain Lineski was actually on this meeting. I'm seeing his name somewhere on here. Yes, we do. Yeah. Okay. He has, his, he has his hand raised, but I don't know. Caleb, I know you're there. If he can be taken off a of mute. There we go. I think he's with us. All right. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Captain Jeff Lineski, Traffic Division. <clears throat> My recommendation would be that we uh, get an estimate from NIPSCO first. Uh, the location of that first pole that we were considering is kind of close to another light anyway. So I would recommend that we get an uh, estimate to move a new pole closer to the mid block so it would make sense, so it would cover a better area. And we wouldn't be more, we wouldn't be redundant with the lighting out there. Okay. Um, does the board have any other questions for Captain Lineski? Okay. Hearing none. Um, so I guess, um, Amber, would it be appropriate for us to uh, have a motion to request that estimate of from NIPSCO for placement of a poll and a light? I believe it would, and what this board may want to do, and I'm not sure if it would be to our engineer or maybe our planning director, but maybe have a refer it to their department to reach out and, and get that information for the board. Okay. Sounds appropriate. Um, so we, so do we have a motion? Yes, Mr. President, I'll make a motion to um, proceed with input from our city engineer and uh, and request of an estimate from NIPSCO to install the new light. Okay. We, we, okay. we approve pending those two activities occurring. Okay, thank you. We do have a motion, do we have a second? Second that motion. Okay, so in a second, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries, and as such, this then will remain on our funding list. Um, next is Albert Ladd, uh, Cool Spring Ave, requesting no truck traffic signage to be installed on Risky. Um, Captain Lineski. I know we we uh, we voted before to make that happen. Can you tell us whether that's happened yet or not? Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, uh, I talked to the street department. They did install one sign at Cool Spring and Risky. However, they only had one sign. So I talked to Sean Smith from street department. He was in the process of ordering a second sign for the intersection of Michigan Boulevard and Risky. Okay, thank you. Um, so with that information, I would suggest we leave this on our pending list until that sign is received and installed. Um, next, we have Pamela Utterback representing Shoreland Hills property owners uh, requesting paving in the Shoreland Hills subdivision. Um, <laughs> I know that, uh, Mayor, you had made a motion before to keep this on the list. We had received information from uh, Skyler York at a previous meeting regarding this issue um, and that there might be some, if I remember correctly, that there might be some patching to be done, but actual paving, they've not reached that threshold just yet in the way that the streets are, are, are rated. Um, is, is my recollection collect, correct? I believe it is, Mr. President. I'm, I'm drawing a huge blank about this, so I think we need to leave it on the list. Okay. All right. Thank you. That's what we'll do. Um, next, we have Councilman Don Prisbolinski requested a stop sign at the intersection of Gardena and Maple. Um, I know there was going to be a traffic study done there, but there was some equipment issues. Um, in getting that study done. 
Captain Lineski, do you have any other information regarding that? Yes, yeah, so when I talked to the manufacturer of our radar trailer, I was informed that our data collection device that's installed on that radar trailer is not working. Uh, I won't be sending it in until the end of the season because the radar portion itself is working as a deterrent. Uh, I had the, the radar trailer at that intersection for about three weeks. Um, I didn't see any significant problems with speeding. And as I stated, uh, when this first came up, I pulled the accident stats for that intersection and found that we've only had one accident at that intersection within the last six years. And that was not attributed to any traffic related issue, but it was an animal. So uh, okay. it's up to the board whether you want to leave it on there until I get the radar trailer fixed or if you want to take it off um, and just let the police department monitor the situation. Thank you, sir. Um, what is the board's pleasure? My feelings is that we can just take it off and let the uh, police department monitor that area. Okay. That would be my motion. Okay, thank you. There's a motion. Do we have a second? Yes, Mr. President, I'll second that motion. Okay, uh, we have a motion and a second to remove this item from the list and let the police department monitor that intersection. Um, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, we have just two more items. John Chalikian um, regarding uh, his property out on South 421. Um, I don't know, Mayor, do you have any more information about this at this point in time? No, Mr. President. Mr. President I have not heard any conversation about that property in, in some okay. time. Okay, then I would suggest we leave this on at least until our next meeting, and uh, perhaps we can uh, have some input from planning department at that time. And finally, order to demolish 710 West 10th Street. Um, I'm sure we don't have anyone from the inspection department here. So, well, we were given this uh, to September 21st. So this one just resides till our next meeting on September 21st. Um, that concludes our pending business. Um, are there any comments from the board on any issue? No, I have Okay, um, I, I have a question. It's for the mayor, I guess. Um, I've been told that uh, we're going back to live meetings on September 15th. Is that correct? Uh, I was told that same thing this morning. Okay. Uh, Mr. President, uh, I'm, I'm not at this moment very well informed of what the governor's thoughts are. Uh, we, do have, we do have some real issues that are sitting on the table for our city government that we need to address, one being processing the budget. Uh, we have deadlines that have to be met that are at this, as we meet this morning, are in danger of, of not being met. So I would say we're going to assess it, but yes, I believe the, uh, I'm going to try to uh, go live with the meetings again at uh, Memorial Park. I think that's okay. a necessity. Okay. Um, are we are we any nearer to opening up City Hall or? Yes, we are. Uh, we opened City Hall this morning. Uh, we are people of that keep our word. When we went into COVID, uh, we said that we were going to close City Hall until Labor Day. Well, Labor Day is now come and gone, and we are going to open it up. But I will say it is going to be on a trial basis. I visited with each department in City Hall this morning, informed them uh, what we're going to do, but also that I would like the feedback of all of our staff members on how uh, uh, 
many visitors we have here in City Hall and how well the visitors conduct themselves in City Hall. And if, uh, if either of those two conditions are not uh, satisfactory to the majority of the staff in City Hall, uh, then we will lock it down again. My first obligation is, is to the uh, staff of this administration. Uh, I'm going to keep the staff safe. I want the public to have as many services as we can offer them during this difficult time, but we are going to keep the, the staff of our government safe, and, if the, and, and the people of Michigan City need to work with us on that. So my answer is it's going to, going to be on a day-to-day -day basis. We're going to monitor this, and if all goes well, we'll be open for business. If not, we will close back down. Okay, thank you, sir. And just one final question in that regard. Um, with City Hall opening temporarily or otherwise at this point, there's no discussion on bringing meetings back to council chambers um, or is the plan to continue at Memorial Hall? No, we are going to continue at Memorial Hall because as, as uh, was explained when we first made that move, uh, we are going to so, uh, continue social distancing. We are going to continue all of the appropriate and necessary uh, personal hygiene behavior uh, because, as you know, the numbers are not going down, uh, which is very perplexing, but it, it needs to be addressed. And when we went into this state of these additional requirements, it reduced the number of seats available to the public in our council chamber from in the vicinity of 100, I think it was 96 to 20 some. And we've been able to improve that by going to Memorial Park. We've spent money doing it. And uh, for us to go back to City Hall council chambers, we would have to spend additional money tying in the large public area outside the council chamber, plus the EOC to uh, accommodate substantial seating for the public and the, and, the, and the availability for the public to uh, make comments during the meeting. So we've addressed this adequately, these, these, these needs, we've addressed these adequately by moving to Memorial Park, and that is what we will continue to do. Okay, thank you, sir. That's all, all I had. Um, any other board comments, questions? Hearing none, I would entertain an, uh, uh, a motion for adjournment. Move to adjourn. Support. We have a motion and a second for adjournment. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. We are adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you.